I don't have any equity positions. I'm basically all crypto. Uh, for global macro investor, I've got some gold and some bond call options. But I just feel like we've got this risk set up coming again, where everybody's looking that way and the economy is about to go that way. So I think whether it's cash or some hedges, just be careful. You know, correlations fall apart in these things. You know, gold can get a washout. You know, even Bitcoin can get a washout later on. Who knows? Just this is not a straightforward situation. I would think about in this sell-off buying some calls on bond options. That's pretty straightforward and it won't cost you a lot of money. But if I'm right, they're right at the top of the range. They could go all the way back down to the bottom of the range pretty quickly. So, yeah. you know, that's not bad. If I'm wrong, you lose your premium. Fine. Okay. You've got Bitcoin, you've got gold. They should do fine. There's an, even an outside chance that we go up to 100,000 by mid-Feb and then correct 40%. I don't know. My way of playing that is I'm all in. I'm not expecting to to close any positions until um, the end of the year, maybe into next year. So I will just, if I can, if I can, if I get any more cash, I will just buy a dip, um, and I'll be tilting it more towards Ethereum than Bitcoin. I'm currently 80-20. Add to Ethereum because I think it's going to outperform in this cycle. Yes. yes, it looks horrible when you see a PL go down, but it's okay. And if you can then add more for the next run up, because these crypto cycles tend to be much longer and much sharper than we used to in traditional markets. So that's okay. You know, I think the chances are it goes somewhere between two and 300,000 by, you know, Feb, March next year.